Hey Aries, welcome to your reading for Scorpio season. If you're new, welcome. Please remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get all the messages I post each month. And to my lovely loyal subscribers, welcome back. Okay, finally getting out of Libra season. Libra season is usually cuffing season, but this one with all the retrogrades has been crazy. So, we're finally going direct with most of the planets that have big influential, um, you know, acts on our life, if you like, um, have, make big moves and make us have big changes. So now that's out of the way, let's see what we have. Op stay optimistic about your love life here. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance, religious factors, your love life benefits, why was I going to say your love life benefits as you forgive and heal the past? Okay. <laughs> um, your love life is influenced by your religious and spiritual upbringing. Okay. Um, and your spiritual path here. Separation, time apart from your partner is on the horizon. So like I said, it's usually cuffing season during Libra season, but right now, um, you know, this, all the air signs have been chaotic. Um, so if you've been single, it's about getting yourself on track here. If you're separated from the person, you know, you feel is the one for you, um, or, you know, you've just broken up with somebody, it, it, <laughs> Libra season has been chaos. Saturn retrograde is making us go back and look at the things that need sorting out in our life. We can't just get away with them if you like now. We had to go back. We were forced to look at things we didn't want to look at. So we could have even, you know, exposed cheaters in our life and things like that. Um, all the relationships, um, not just romantic, you know, business, financial, However, people are connected to you. Any sort of relationship you've had to go back, look at, revamp, reorganize, recognize um, how dependent you are on that person or how dependent that um, person is on you, how good they're doing for you. Those sorts of things we've been looking at during Libra season. Be assertive. That's basically the seven of wands. Um, so... I guess now's the time to put your best foot forward here. Um, let's see. The moon, okay. So the full moon is in Aries. Okay, so that will be great for you. Um, if you're single, I feel like you may have a, a romantic surprise coming because like I said, Libra season was supposed to be cuffing season, but if you didn't meet anybody or you know didn't get together with anybody, I feel like this season, Scorpio season, is all about the passion, that fire you're going to get from Mars and that airy moon, um, Aries moon there. Yeah, I really feel like here it's going to be great for you this Scorpio season. Putting an end here with the death card to things that are not serving you, separating yourself from things. So even if somebody walks away from you, you've had to learn, grow, Follow your spiritual path here that we can see in the Nine of Pentacles that's leading to this abundance. Sorry, I banged the camera. Um, and that Seven of Wands at the end there again. So we see be assertive and seven, seven of Wands. Having to stand up for yourself all the time. You know, I feel like you're freeing yourself from that. If anything, be your free, loving, exciting spirit that you was born to be here. You know, everybody loves you for that. So I'm not surprised if people start coming out of the woodworks here to try and date you. Um, because once you're back to yourself, that's when everything and everyone is attracted to you, okay? Don't be scared to shine here. Don't hide yourself, hide your beauty or, you know, um, how amazing you are. The sun doesn't care who it's burning, you know, and that's how you, you're meant to shine here. So be free, you know, if people play with fire, they get burnt, right? Because they're expecting you to fall here, but you can stand strong on your own. Being assertive, you know, knocking down people when they're saying or trying anything underhand here, anything they're trying to hide from you, this boost that you'll get to your intuition in Scorpio season, nobody will be able to hide anything from you. So embrace that loving, fiery energy that you are, 
that comes with the moon, the full moon this time. Let's see, Eight of Pentacles. Like I said, even revamping uh, your career, relationships, really looking at ending things that are not getting you where you want to be, right? Recognizing how you, you're relating to these connections. Um, I really feel here for you, you'll be able to start a new business or get on something solid here, some sort of solid income coming in, being able to make loyal, secure connections in regards to money this month, if that's what you're wanting. Um, but I feel here, if people choose to learn the hard way with you and get burnt, it's not your fault. You know, you're growing here. You're not being mean or anything like that. You are embodying who you are. And you're growing. It's your spiritual path here to separate from these things that are holding you back. You know, telling you to dim and fit in. You're supposed to separate from those things. So um, I do feel there has been um, this separation of people, things, and maybe even clearing out the house here and, you know, starting new, fresh things, new ideas, exciting things. If these people are still around you and you haven't made the cuts, they'll bring drama at this time, okay? Because uh, tensions will rise with that Aries moon. Um, so you're going to have to stand up for yourself against what people are saying. Um, you know, if you haven't cut them off and walked away and followed your spiritual path, I would expect people bringing drama to you. If you have cut those people off, this is starting a new creative business that becomes really lucrative to you. Um, yeah, look at this, Nine of Cups. So Saturn will reward you. Your wishes will come true here because you've done the work. If we don't do the work, we can't get the reward while Saturn was in retrograde, right? So if you've done it all and you went through those difficult times, you, you may be even thinking which way to go forward with the moon. What can I do now? I'm not seeing a path ahead. Well, Saturn will come and shine a light. It's like the sun rising now, okay? You know, we went through all those endings. It's time for a rebirth here. And we see lots of beautiful things starting. Lots of beautiful new beginnings. Work, friendships, love. Everything you've wished for. If you're following your own dreams and your own heart here. Like I said, you're born to be this page of wands. This exciting free loving spirit right and sometimes you know the world and people do get us down so we kind of get lost and start searching for something and we don't realize that we're searching for ourselves here two of pentacles um lots of uh opportunities for business and love here um it's funny i just recalled just this minute that i kept dreaming um that every video i did did had Two, two, two in it. Um, so that's quite interesting that that just came to me now. And I was dreaming about uh, the cards were black spades and kittens. Okay. <laughs> I actually have a deck like that somewhere. Um, but yeah, it might be a message in that there for somebody. Two Pentacles shows you signing new contracts, meeting new people. Um, maybe even going back uh, and people coming from the past into your life, new uh, friends you haven't seen for a long time, romantic partners here uh, coming in as well, new and old. I see you getting a lot of offers here, you know, having broken through and this rebirth coming around. I see you getting a lot of offers here. It's up to you again to start beating them off with a stick <laughs> if, you know, they aren't good enough for you or if they want to be dependent on you or, you know, control you you know, tell you to dim, any sort of thing like that. It's up to you to be assertive and push past that and realize your spiritual path doesn't call for you to be dimming in this life. It doesn't call for you to fit in with other people. Why would, you know, such a beautiful energy have to fit in with other people who are trying to dull you down because they're scared of their own spiritual path there that the own work that they would have to do you know you're really looking fabulous right now with that nine of pentacles energy if you're single i'm telling you everybody wants to mingle with you um everybody's going to come forward uh, attracted to you and this is saturn if we haven't done the work uh, we're just going through a breakup or we refuse to let go of things 
even if you want a person, let them go. Okay, I always advise people this, let go, let go of the energy, let go of them. Um, and if it's meant to be, they will come back to you. If we hold on to the energy, we're staying stagnant and, you know, it's harder for the positive things to flow in. A lot of people will ask, where are all the good stuff that you're talking about? Well, if we're holding on to things and we're just not getting anything done, it will stay the same, right? And with the Nine of Cups, instead of you getting your wishes, you could gain weight or maybe even start overindulging in sort of addictions and beverages and things like that that um, maybe you wouldn't do if you was, you know, living your best life, if you like, just as a way to describe it here. But yeah, like I said, Scorpio season will be super duper cuffing season. Um, you are as independent as they come, but you're learning that everybody, including you, is reliant on others. We are social beings and we are here for those sort of relationships. You have just learned to, um, you know, cut out the ones that are not serving you and take on the really healthy relationships. So that is what will be coming your way. Um, you know, new, exciting, healthy, important relationships. So it's not to cut everybody off um, and never have nobody in your life again. It's to make way for the new and the positive, the exciting with the page of wands there. And the hermit, okay. So a lot as well, so, you know, you might have been by yourself or single for a while while you did this spiritual work and there's nothing at all wrong with that. Um, it's probably the best chance we get to look at ourselves, learn how to be alone and learn how to be single. And, you know, I feel like once you're um, feeling great again, you're like, yeah, you know, it's exciting and fun being single. But this time you had to really deep dive with the hermit and look at, um, you know, like I was saying, that everybody is sort of reliant on other people. I guess we could look at this world as a social experiment, right? Um, just imagine from the beginning of time we was living in tribes and things like that, communities, and we've sort of broken away from that, right? But you're feeling like, oh, you should find that we all have a place and, you know, together we are much stronger, but those who don't want to do the spiritual work will drag you down if you let them. Um, if you are, if you meet somebody right now, I do feel that your, um, Bedroom activities will be totally on fire right now with that page of wands. Um, it might be that you are secretly seeing somebody. So you're telling people, I'm single, I'm single. But there may be some secret, you know, lover that you are just wanting to build a connection with first. If that's the case, then it will be going very well um, with that nine of cups there. Maybe that's why you are beating off all the other you know people who are wanting your time and attention seven of pentacles there patience and planning reversed um so if you was waiting for somebody i feel like you know give it up let go because here it serves no purpose to hold on and wait for somebody if they're meant to be with you they'll catch you up or you know you'll meet at another time and place if you just solely focus on waiting uh, usually it just keeps the energy stagnant. You're putting a lot of energy into something that will not give any return with the Seven of Pentacles there, okay? So you could be getting the signs, 11-11 and things like that, or sevens. Um, a lot of nines here we have and twos, um, but you could be getting these signs and they are correct, you're seeing them, but you're sort of waiting for a person to come towards you rather than getting on with your own spiritual path. And that's where the delays are coming in. Okay, recognition and reward. Uh, three of Pentacles reverse now. So not working with somebody to build anything just yet. Especially if you're, like I said, putting that energy into waiting for somebody. It's what I call negative waiting. Seven of Pentacles. Um, three of Wands, positive waiting. It's, you know, carrying on with your life, doing exciting things. Knowing that your ships are coming in. If we do that negative waiting... Um, you know, always wondering, am I gonna, are they gonna come back or not or whatever, you know, waiting around for them. 
we're not really building anything strong here so this will be an end of a cycle now Saturn has gone direct because this is ten pentacles so something that was very firm and solid and things like that uh, will now come to an end okay so we have shadow um, so this is your spiritual path having to do the shadow work here learning to love all sides of us right um, the shadow part of us I guess you could call it the negative part or something like that evil part if you like is not something we're supposed to get rid of but more something we learn to embrace about ourselves. the five of cups now emotional loss so this is either longing for somebody or calling out to your soulmate, somebody missing you from the past or if somebody from the past has popped into your mind, I would expect that they uh, come into your life very soon and you know, you start here to, um, you know, get a, a connection with them here with the two of cups, nine of cups, five of cups here. So let's see. Um, okay, we have the six of wands now, so that will be successful, material, material and spiritual prosperity. Um, by letting go and knowing what's meant for me will always be. So I'm going to be me and I'm going to let all these beautiful things be drawn to my life and embrace them. I'm not going to be a fit, a, 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 a scared to shine. Here some of you might even be coming famous with the six of wands a lot of people looking at you a lot of people attracted to you um i'm not surprised those who have been with the channel a long time know that uh my little baby aries my granddaughter i love her to bits i think aries are very beautiful um and yes i am biased <laughs> oh dear okay and five here uh five of swords conflict and defeat so we see a lot of changes going on uh, with these fives here and like I said if you are putting this negative weighting in you won't be able to build anything you will feel um, defeated in this situation like oh it never came around it never worked out that way um, it was how you was waiting that's what went wrong okay even still if you let it go um, you know and continue and on your spiritual path here work on yourself be open to new exciting things lots of beautiful things will come your your way here i feel like you've been breaking these ancestral chains but this is mercury as well going direct so this is the planet of communication um you may have been waiting on some communication it never came and feel almost defeated by this so you need to pick yourself up and remain positive okay because that optimism is what will bring um, a lot of things into your life here victory and success again we're going to finish with so the sixes are related to the lovers okay um so we're going to see a lot of positive money energy coming in um a lot of it feels like the dawning of a new day embracing um the changes and seeing that things that maybe felt like they went wrong uh, have led to this beautiful new exciting chapter of your life so a lot of you might now be closing an old book there good luck guys